Welcome to this TechnicForce tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss the new plugins feature for CloudFunnels version 4.2.5. In this release of CloudFunnels, we're very excited to release a brand new plugins module and plugins marketplace. From your settings tab, you'll be able to see your current version. If you're not running version 4.2.5 yet, restart CloudFunnels and install the update when you're prompted. To access the new plugins module and marketplace, go to the sidebar and click plugins. The new plugins feature is available for server versions of cloud funnels, but not available on Google cloud hosted versions. The plugins work similar to WordPress plugins, kind of like an app within the cloud funnel system that add additional features to cloud funnels. Developers can create their own plugins for personal use or to resell them for other CloudFunnels users to use. TechnicForce has also created a marketplace for free and paid plugins. We can click Add New Plugin to access the marketplace. We've also published a Plugin Developer's Guide. You can locate this at developer.cloudfunnels.in. This shows how to create a plugin from scratch how to pack it, how to create updates, how to interact with CloudFunnels funnels, lists, etc. WordPress plugin developers will easily understand how to create CloudFunnels plugins as they use all the same function names and formatting as WordPress plugins use. However, WordPress and CloudFunnels plugins are not intercompatible. That is, you cannot use a WordPress plugin in CloudFunnels or vice versa. And this developer's guide includes tutorials for all aspects of plugin development. Now back to CloudFunnels, from the plugins module, we can click this button here, Install from Marketplace, to open the marketplace. Or, if you already have a plugin in the form of a zip file that you either developed yourself or was given to you, you can upload that plugin here. For now, let's visit the marketplace. And this opens the page URL, marketplace.cloudfunnels.in. And you could visit that directly through your browser but it would be limited functionality as compared to navigating there directly from within CloudFunnels. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Here in the marketplace, you can browse an amazing number of free and paid plugins for your CloudFunnels site. And this marketplace will only grow over time as more and more developers contribute their own works and more and more users discover more niche requirements that can be served by a plugin. So for example, let's just download this one here. Because we navigated to the plugins marketplace directly from within CloudFunnels, we have the option to either download the zip file now or install it directly from the marketplace. If we were to copy this URL and paste it into a new window, and here I'm incognito, so CloudFunnels doesn't recognize that I'm logged in. If I click on the same plugin, you'll see that I no longer have the option to install. I can only download now. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's download this plugin and that downloads the zip file to our downloads folder. So now we'll head back to CloudFunnels and for our new plugin, we can upload this plugin. So here we'll select the zip file from our downloads folder and open it. And instantly you can see that the plugin has been added to our plugins page. Let's try another one. This time we'll do this directly from within CloudFunnels where we logged in. Let's try this one this time. And this time we'll just install directly. With the same result, here's our new plugin automatically installed in our plugins page. Now you'll notice that when these plugins install, they automatically arrive disabled. In order to activate them, we just have to slide the switch to enable it. And that makes the plugin active. And when it does, it automatically checks for an update to make sure it's running the most current version of this plugin. If you missed that, I'll do it again. Just disable that. And when we enable, there's a quick check for update there. There it was. And now we know that we're running the most current version of our plugin. We also have the option to delete this plugin by pressing the trash icon. 
You'll also notice that in the sidebar, some of the plugins have a menu item and not all. Here we have CF Exit To and CF Pay. So these two plugins were coded with menu items included. But it's not necessary for all plugins to have a menu item. It depends on the plugin itself. You can just click that menu item to visit the plugin interface and submenu. Each interface is custom designed by the plugin developer, but uses the same theme as CloudFunnels for a cohesive appearance. So we hope you'll share in our excitement in the amount of customization that these new plugins will allow for CloudFunnels. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.